What's good, fam? We are back with another video. I'm tired as fuck today, to be honest, man. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be reacting to some more angry grandma, man. And this is nursing home prank on grandma. I can only imagine what Jake did this time. So we're gonna jump straight into this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe right now, turn on your post notifications, and as always, smash that like button for your boy. And uh, let me see something. Before I start real quick, man. All right, it's crazy. It's about 12.3% of y'all are subscribed to my channel that rocks with it. But 87.7% of y'all, man. Y'all not subscribed, man. What's happening? Show your boys some love, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be nothing but love out here, man. You know what I'm saying? I got the constants coming for you, man. <laughs> All jokes aside. Yeah, man. Subscribe to your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you in advance. So we're going to jump straight into this video, though. Let's get it. Angry Grandma and Jake podcast out. You can check it out. The link will be in the description of the video. Ain't that right, Grand? You fucking right, Jake. We also have our merchandise store open where you can buy Angry Grandma t-shirts and Angry Grandma phone cases. So be sure to check that out. Well, without further ado, I love you guys. I love you, Granny. I love my cigarettes. What? What about me? Fuck you, Jake. Get out of my fucking room. Fine. <laughs> Yo. What the hell? Oh, so damn. Smell of a really bad fart. 
What the? Blame it on the motherfucker that's sat next to you. <laughs> so let's say you're on like a public, let's say you're on like a public train, and all of a sudden, and everyone looks at you. What do you do? Look at the guy next to you. Go. Whoa, motherfucker, you sure cut one, didn't you? And what if he said he heard it come from you? Prove it, motherfucker, because I didn't feel a damn thing. <laughs> this fan wants to know, how do you deal with picky eaters and they just won't eat your food? How do you deal with picky eaters? What? Shove it in their fucking face and say, now eat the motherfucker, I fixed it, you eat it. <laughs> what, if they're say, what if they say, ew, <clears throat> it look gross. Tough shit, motherfucker, you're gonna <laughs> eat it. No, I wanna. Like I said, that's tough shit, I saw you are eating the motherfucker, now eat it. <laughs> Granny, this fan wants to know, how often should I use the bathroom? What? Fuck if I know. How many times do you get the urge to go shit? Every time you get the urge, that's when you go. Pretty much. I don't care how many fucking times I go. <laughs> when the pain hits, I go. That's all I can say. It's when the pain hits you, motherfucker, go. <laughs> this person wants to know... Can you explain cryptocurrency and the best strategies for investing in crypto? Oh my god. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> crypto, crypto strategies. What in the fuck is that? This person wants to know what is the best advice for finding Bigfoot? You go out and look for him, motherfucker. He ain't gonna come to you. You get out and you hunt that damn big thing. And we're still looking for him ourselves, so you give us some advice if you find him. That's right. Get out there in that damn woods and get you a big foot whistle or what in the hell ever. And you get out there in that woods and you look for him just like the fuck I do. And what, oh, you, I got something you can tell them about advice. Tell them that noise you make to make sure Bigfoot comes near you, like your Bigfoot call. My big, yeah, that's right. I do have my own call for Bigfoot. It's ee, 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 ee. I can't go too loud no more because my voice won't let me. But if I fucking piece around, he'll hear me. <laughs> this fan wants to know, what do you do if you shit yourself in public, like a mall or a big store or in a big crowd? Honey, I've done it before. All I do is just if I got a cart pushing it or if I'm walking, I head to the nearest fucking bathroom. I grab me a bunch of paper towels. I go in the stall, pull my shitty drawers off and clean my ass up, put my pants back on, throw my drawers away. And walk out like ain't a damn thing in this world has happened to me. So that's what you do. So what if somebody stops you and says, like, says, is that poo-poo on you? <clears throat> I don't know, is it? I might have sat down in somebody else's shit. You want to uh, get down there and smell it? All right, this guy wants to know, is it okay to date your best friend's sister? I guess, as long as she ain't related to you and your best friend don't have a problem with it, but don't go behind his back and say, hey, and date his sister. Yeah. You tell him, hey, I'm going to take his sister out. See how he likes it. What if he says, hell no? And then uh, you tell him, hey, motherfucker, do I tell you who to go out with and who not to go out with <laughs> and who to fuck with or anything else? <laughs> Hell no, I don't. So, if I want to date your sister, whatever I want to do, I'm going to do it. Also, if he has a problem with it and says no, date his mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be something, wouldn't it?
That's the first time I ever what heard her laugh. What's the best way of eating ass? <laughs> Why in the fuck are you asking me? <laughs>
don't drink water after eating fish. Motherfucker, the fish is dead. The snake, that's my old bag. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, this fan wants to know, what is the best way of dealing with a cheater? What's the best way to dealing with a cheater? Yeah, well, let's say you've been dating a person for a long time and you find out they've been cheating on you. Kick their fucking ass out the door and find you another one. Well, let's do a reenactment of it and you show them what you would do. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, honey, I just got off work. Good. You cheating, lying <laughs> mother. <laughs> you see that door? And I crack her right in the head. You see that door? You better hit the motherfucker before I hit you. What? I never cheated on you. The fuck you ain't. You better have the fucking motel with that damn bitch. I caught you, motherfucker. I caught you. What? <laughs> So, hit the door, Jack, before I lay your fucking eyes out. Hey, yo. What? This isn't, like, much of an advice one. This one is just more of a question. <laughs> what is the worst day you've ever been on, and do you have the story for it? Oh, fuck, I ain't been in, on a date so damn long, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I had a blind date one time. And the guy worked at this big movie theater. A what? Oh, movie theater. A what? Where you go to that damn theater and you walk in. It was a big one in Detroit. Will you watch movies? Yes. I remember the movie that was on. It was James Bond when he first started coming out. And I had a blind... A blind nah, fuck. I had a blind date. With the guy that worked there, he was like an usher that would see you to your seats and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Well, he took me to my seat. He had to leave because he had other stuff to do. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I sat there and I watched the movie. <laughs> he never showed back up or nothing else. And I said, fuck this shit. <laughs> I passed him as I was walking out the fucking door. I fucking left. <laughs> so, fuck, you call a date, you call a date, you don't work on a fucking date. Somebody wants advice on how to deal with the breakup. How to deal with the breakup? Yeah. No. <laughs> you know what? How about this, Granny? You just show me how you would reenact it. Let's give it a test. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you know, these past few months have been amazing. Okay. And, you know, I love you with all my heart, but I think it'd be best if we broke up. And you know what, motherfucker? <laughs> You're full of shit. I got to where I can't stand your fucking eyes. So you know what? There's the door. Don't let the doorknob hit you. Where the good Lord split hey, you this is my house. your fucking way out. You... I don't give a damn whose house it is. I'll leave. I'll find me somebody else that'll uh, be better to me than you are, you fucking bitch. <laughs> much, much, much later. I watched a documentary, or whatever you want to fucking call it, about Bigfoot last night on TV. Really? Yeah. Was Bigfoot they, in it? Yeah, it was about him. So, uh, said that, so uh, Bigfoot was in it. I'm telling you a motherfucking thing. If that's all you're going to sit there and say, is Bigfoot in it? Was he in it? Oh, he was in it, huh? I just want to get the facts straight. I told you, yes, he was in it. It was about him. Okay, so Bigfoot was in this documentary. Oh my god. How many more <clears throat> fucking times do I have to tell you? Yes, he was in it. They showed him. They was talking about him. And if you want to hear, you want the motherfucker yourself. Because I ain't telling you shit. Because I can't tell you a damn thing.
Just tell me about it. Why? So you keep saying, oh, Bigfoot was in it. Oh, he was doing this. Huh? Well, Granny, where's he at? What's he doing? Come on, Granny, please. You can't just end it like that. I want to know. The fuck I can't with you. <laughs> All right. I won't say nothing else. What happened in the documentary? <clears throat> First time you come up with something, I won't say another motherfucking word. <laughs> All right. And it was talking about Bigfoot. And they said that he is going crazy because you know how he's got all that long hair and all that shit covered in her. He, this heat, as hot as it's been and everything is getting to him and driving him a little bit crazy. He gonna act How much did they pay him to be in the documentary? <laughs> How much did they pay him to be in it? <laughs> I told you, you asked me one more motherfucking stupid ice question. I wasn't saying another fucking word. So fuck it and shut your damn mouth. Granny, look! I don't give a damn. It's too hot to get out there in garbage pit. No, Mark, they left the garbage uh, bag outside. So I'm not going through it. You want to get out there and go through the motherfucker? This is in the hospital. Hell no, I ain't going through that shit. What could be in there? There's your fucking chair with a hole in it. Come on, Graham. Let's go. I'm burning the fuck up. I just want to know what's in that bag. I want to get out. Uh, go. Let's get out and go. Let's... Granny, please. Go. <laughs> Granny, go, please. Go, Jake. Granny, I'm begging you. Go. <clears throat> what do you think's in the bag? Where are you going? I'm getting the motherfucker out of here. <laughs> oh, my God, it's probably shitty ice stoppers and shit. Come on, you're look with me, please. I ain't getting up there looking. Come on. Look, there's a nice chair. I told you there's your fucking chair with a hole in it. Grand look, it's that one thing you've always been wanting. I'm not kidding you. Look, it's one of those bathtub things. <laughs> Just come out here and look. There's a lot of cool stuff out here. Look, there's even a cigarette for you. Fuck out. Come on. I ain't looking. See, Grand, look. There's all kinds of shit back here. Are you kidding? I'm not walking back there. <laughs> look at all of it. Yeah, look at all of it. Hell. I'm telling you. Oh, God. What's wrong? Here. Look at that old man. He's smoking a cigarette. You could probably smoke with him. 
Fuck that old man. I'll sit on my balcony and smoke all I want to. Trini. You motherfucker, I ain't going to play. They make, Get me the fuck out of here. They make you lunch. They make you break. Granny. I won't make you stuff. I will beat the holy motherfucking hell. No, you. <laughs> if you don't back up and get my ass out of here now, I am absolutely burning up and I can't take it no fucking more because I will go. Take me home. They saw pudding. Take They said pudding. Here. pudding. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I already have your bags packed. You can take my bags in and unpack the motherfuckers, cause I ain't going no place. Thank a little quit shit and yellow grandson of mine <laughs> is gonna tell me what to do and what not to do and try to put me in a damn senior citizens building or a nursing home or whatever in the fuck it is. You are so full of that shit. You're gonna like it here. Fuck you. Stupid ice motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, you really got a bag packed. <laughs> Here, I got your bag packed. Come on, Grand, they're waiting for <clears> you <throat> in there. That the fuck? What in the fuck is that? I'll make the stuff go to a fucking bag pack. You motherfucker, what you got in that shit? Cigarettes. <laughs> Come on, Grand, they're waiting for you in there. <laughs> Don't you want to meet your other uh, residents? Get the fuck in the car! Yeah, that one was pretty funny. She had some good advice, though, real talk, though. Some of it was pretty fucking funny, though. But I gotta see that Walgreens one, yo. I gotta see it. I... <laughs> she, like, she got mad at that. So we definitely gotta see it, man. My head wild as hell right now. I gotta get it retwisted. So, uh, man, if y'all like that, man, make sure y'all throw it down in the comment section. Smash the like button for y'all boys. Subscribe to the channel and share the video for your boy, man. We almost close to 500. We going to get there, buddy. But you already know the big boy, that one thou wow. We close. We halfway there, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know. Peace, love, blessing. See y'all in the next video. Appreciate the fam. I appreciate y'all for real for watching my videos, showing me love in the whole nine, all the way to the fullest. Peace.